welcome back to the Get Life Energy YouTube channel where I'm here to teach you how to get more energy for your beautiful, precious life. My name is Becca Lamont and thank you for coming by if this is your first time. Welcome! So I uh, was watching some YouTube videos a few minutes ago and I was giggling and laughing and learning things and taking information in and I realized that make a YouTube video is on my calendar twice a week, and I love that. I just being really good about doing that. Um, so I'm gonna do it now. Here I am, wanting to give you something that might help you out in this uh, time and um, whenever you're watching this. And um, yeah, have you ever been in a funk? Are you in a funk right now? I wanted to talk to you today about how to get out of a funk because. One of my favorite YouTubers and um, I guess celebrity personalities is Russell Brand. He's absolutely hilarious, thoughtful, intelligent, wonderful person. Check him out if you haven't already. He's got a podcast, YouTube channel, and stuff on, you know, movies, um, comedy shows. But so he is being interviewed by uh, Conan O'Brien. And in the opening video scene he's like wearing a towel around his head he's like laying in bed and he says I find it hard to get motivated during this lockdown and I thought I feel you my brother but it made me laugh and um, um, one of the things that pulled me out of a recent funk was watching some hilarious videos by a teacher you know uh, visionary, I don't know what you want to call the people out there making videos on YouTube, but you know, we're just people who feel that um, things that we've learned and gone through could help others. And we want to point a camera at ourselves and uh, see if we can pull this shit off. Honestly, right now I actually have a post-it note covering up my face so I don't look at myself and not you. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Should I start the video over? <sighs> I remember trying to make a video a few weeks ago and having my cat interrupt over and over. So um, here's the deal. All right, guys. Um, this is a weird time that we're in in the world, and therefore, it's easy to slip into being in a funk. And what I mean by that, I'm sure you have your own idea what being in a funk is. But um, I was in a funk uh, a few weeks ago. I've kind of been going in and out of it. Um, it's like a little bit of a roller coaster in the funk, out of the funk, in the funk, out of the funk. But what I mean by being in a funk is where you don't feel like yourself. It's really, it feels a lot like depression, but without the intense sadness or feelings of, you know, despair or worthlessness or, you know, um, if you've ever had depression, um, losing interest in the things that make you happy, losing interest in the things that, you know, putting on your, you know, pants today. But this weird quarantine situation that many of us have been in now for what, going on eight weeks is funk producing. You know what I mean? It's like, why should you put on clean clothes if your pajamas are still fairly clean? Um, but I, uh, I wanted to address this because there's definitely some things you can do to help yourself get out of it. And being in a funk sucks because it's like you feel like you're not reaching your potential. You feel like, like a guilt. Maybe that's the um, Catholic raised part of me. But I struggle a lot with feeling guilty about not getting stuff accomplished or about not, you know, being productive. Can you relate? If so, give me a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment and say, I relate with this productivity funk stuff because for me, that's like the biggest uh, barrier or obstacle, I think, to maintaining a healthy, really? In or out, bro, come on. Ridiculous, oh my gosh. Can you relate with having a bossy pet? Okay. When you slip into a funk, 
you're probably laying around in bed more than you normally do. You're probably eating differently than you normally do. You're probably like, this is the thing to recognize is that something has changed. When you're in your normal routine, there's a routine. There's a Monday through Friday and then a Saturday, Sunday and like activities that you do here and then activities that you do here. And when suddenly your whole routine is thrown for a loop or your roommates are all home with you full time or something changes, the fact that something changes is what you need to recognize. When you, uh, when you come to the conclusion that you're in a funk, which happened to me, um, now twice since the beginning of March, it became, a, a, and my awareness suddenly shifted to like, oh, I'm just feeling in, I'm in a funk right now. Like I, I have a, a sense of apathy. I don't really care about anything. Nothing seems like there's a point to it. Why bother changing clothes? Why bother cleaning my house? Why bother X, Y, Z when I don't even know when, you know, uh, I'm going to be able to live a normal life again. So those major psychological realities can be really just make you feel totally like confused and get you into that space of, you know, you just don't want to do anything. You just want to sit around and watch TV all day. So um, a major thing to recognize is that what has changed? What has changed of your normal routine that you're now not doing? So for me, it was I'm not going to work every day. I don't have a bunch of appointments booked. Um, suddenly I'm home. I've got all this free time. And that's another thing too, is like when you feel like, oh, I've got this free time. I should. Don't should yourself. It's really hard not to do that. But when you feel like, oh, I should be, you know, getting all these things done. Um, the next video I'm going to make is about creative projects and do you see this massive list of potential creative projects that you can work on? This is when I was feeling awesome. And I was like, I could work on this. I could work on this. I could, I, there's so many things that I've been wanting to have time to do that now I have time to do. Yay. And I just, I realized not everybody uh, pours ideas out of their brain like someone like me does. So I'm going to make a separate video about creative project ideas to keep you busy in case you're bored. But um, when you have this massive list in your mind of all these things you want to accomplish and you just don't feel any motivation, then you feel like you're in a funk. That's when you start to go like, oh, I suck. And another thing that sucks about being in a funk is where you feel like you suck because you're not energized or excited about doing things. So again, it feels a lot like depression. If you have a history of depression in your family or have ever been, you know, clinically depressed, then you can understand that like this can be very debilitating and it sucks because you're like, why can't I just change the way I feel? Why can't I just snap out of it? Why can't I just drink some coffee and, you know, get her done? But, so that's the thing. You Sometimes you need to change your headspace or change your state of mind or even change your chemicals in your body, whether that's dopamine or caffeine or, you know, some other, what if you are normally take medication and you've stopped taking your medication? That'll put you into a funk real quick. But all that stuff aside, let's just focus on what has changed in your routine. What are you not doing that you normally do? That was a big uh, factor for me to recognize, oh, I'm in a funk because I've been laying in bed. Nobody was home. I had the house to myself. I was just snoozing and, and chilling, which was quite lovely. I really feel like I needed some rest and I had been rather exhausted. And what's interesting is, I actually, at my uh, part-time job at the chiropractor's office, um, I had just spoken to the uh, office manager about cutting back my hours, and I said, I can't do six days a week. I need to cut back my hours. I have four days a week. I work at my own private office, and then I had the other two days a week I was working there. So that's six days, you know, and I only had that one day off. And on that one day off, I was trying to get all my errands run and all my chores done. It just wasn't really sustainable. And I thought with the um, tax time coming, we're talking about back in February, March, I recognized when am I going to ever have time to do my taxes? I've got to take some, I got to cut back my hours at this part-time job. So in my usual, anyway, when the quarantine came and I suddenly had time, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do my taxes. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to work on this side hustle. I'm going to do all these things. 
And then suddenly I just felt this apathy of like, why I fucking bother? Like, like I had no energy for it. So I recognized maybe I've been working six days a week and I'm actually exhausted and I need to take a couple days to rest. But when you've been in bed till 3 p.m., that can make you feel worse because you feel like you've lost your whole day. You know, the sun's going down soon. Well, again, this is a few months ago, but you get the idea. It's like you can't continue for too long. You got to have a time limit. So number one, make a decision with yourself about how long you're going to let the funk continue. If it's a couple days, three days, four days, you know, but you don't want to be laying around in bed for two weeks and not doing anything about it. So identify what the heck your normal routine is that you're not now doing. For me, it was I'm not getting up and stretching and doing yoga 20 minutes in the morning. I'm not writing in my gratitude journal and then going and getting dressed for work and leaving and going to the office. Instead, I'm just home and hanging out. So I started to let things around me kind of like, you know, dissolve like my cleanliness, my tidiness. Like just, again, I was home alone. I had nobody to impress, you know, and I let things slip. And what I recognized is that I'm the person who needs things to be tidy. It's not about impressing anybody else. I need it to be orderly for me to feel like I can focus and get stuff accomplished. If I let too many things pile up around me, that screws up my brain and I feel overwhelmed and I just can't do anything. So then I just shut down. So that can cause the funk too. So if you're not in your usual routine, what things can you implement to get back into your normal routine? Is that your daily yoga stretching in the morning? Is that doing your 15 minute meditation? Is that drinking coffee first thing and, um, you know, journaling for a little bit? Is it listening to an inspiring podcast. Suddenly I wasn't driving anywhere anymore and I wasn't listening to any podcasts. I discovered, you know, I love Russell Brand. I know I already mentioned him, but check him out. When I, um, he's an addiction recovery specialist, I would say. And um, what I, I like to call him a uh, like shaman life coach for fuck ups. So if you've ever been a drug addict or a fuck up in some other sense of the term, you might relate with this guy. But, um, I went onto his YouTube channel and I I thought to myself, what am I doing that I, what am I not doing that I normally do? What am I doing that I don't normally do? Lay in bed, not change clothes, not put makeup on or put myself together or style my hair. Those are all things that I wasn't doing that normally I do, which make me feel like I'm living my life. I'm awake. I'm here. I'm present. What was I doing? What was I not doing that I normally do? watch funny videos on YouTube and interesting, inspiring stories and listen to podcasts. So I almost always would listen to a uh, quick 15 minute, um, let's see if I can make this uh, video be under 15 minutes. Um, I would listen to someone's YouTube channel on my way to work or on my drive running errands. So I pop on the YouTube channel of, of my favorite shaman for fuck ups and boom, whatever he was talking about was hilarious and woke me up and got me back into feeling like I am, oh yeah, this is who I am. I'm this person who takes in this in, this content and is inspired by it and is entertained by it and enjoys it and feels not alone because sometimes that's all you need is just to know that you're not the only person who feels this way and it's okay to feel this way, but you got to do something about it. If you don't want the funk to continue, you know what I mean? There, there's things you can do. So start doing the things that you haven't been doing and make progress towards getting back into that routine, especially if those healthy habits are morning routine habits and stuff like that. Another major thing you can do is just get your butt outside. Maybe you've been inside for a bit and you need to just be out in the fresh air. And maybe you don't feel comfortable being out in public, walking around on the street or on the beach. You could drive somewhere. You could drive out to some, you know, beautiful Vista point and like take your car for a drive and just get out on the open road and get some speed go in and go drive somewhere where you can see for a far distance just to get some perspective that you are this being in this giant world. Sometimes we can feel so overwhelmed by everything going on in our minds and in the world around us that we start to feel like my world is all that there is and it's crumbling. And then sometimes getting out and looking at the ocean or something like that can be very Uh, give you that perspective that you need. Like I grew up in Washington where we have um, giant volcanic, volcanic mountains out in the horizon. When you are sitting here and you see this giant snow covered mountain, you remember that you are a small creature in this big world. But when you are in San Diego or 
another kind of landlocked, deserty place, it's hard to get that perspective of, you know, go hug a tree. You get the idea. Get outside. Um, another thing is productivity. If you feel overwhelmed by the things you want to accomplish and you've written 800 things down you want to do and then you suddenly feel like, where do I begin? That's definitely a, a indecision fatigue is definitely a problem I have. What you can do is you can take the, you know, brain dump, list everything, everything that you think you want to do, list it all out. Gardening, work on the side hustle, call the thing, organize the paperwork file, the taxes, whatever. Clean your entire house, reorganize your entire garage. These are all actual things on my personal list. I'm going to just get all those things done today. So um, what, what I find really helpful is um, categorizing, taking that massive brain dump list and then going, okay, all of these tasks are gardening tasks. All of these tasks are things where I need to like go run errands and go somewhere. All of these tasks are online tasks that I can do sitting on my computer, which you can do at nighttime where you might need daytime sunlight to do the gardening, right? So categorize, just get the get the list divided into chunks. That can be so relieving, just that alone. Then you can go, okay, tomorrow I'm going to work on one or two items from this category. But that can be helpful not to be feeling like you're pulled in all these different directions. You know, like when I want to work on gardening, I can do some multi, more than one gardening task in, in at once. But I can't exactly do gardening and then do computer. And then, I mean, you can, but it's less efficient. So again, productivity can really give you a boost of energy and make you feel way better and help pull you out of the funk. So sometimes it's like a small thing. It could be like organizing the junk drawer that you've been wanting to get to for a while. Or even just like the other day, we have a key hooks um, to put our keys by the door. That's one of my ADD hacks to never lose your keys again. Um, but there was a bunch of stuff hanging on one of the hooks and it was like random stuff. But we're, we're, we're okay, we got my hook, my hook with my keys, John's hook with John's keys, and then another hook with like eight bazillion things. There's like glow sticks on there, random things, like leash, there was all this stuff. And I thought, what the hell is all this crap? So removing everything and then just putting back what needs to be there, it can be this little win, this little bit of accomplishment. Um, so a small chore, even just like folding your laundry and putting it away when it's been sitting on your bed clean for three weeks, like just little things. If you can get something small accomplished, making your bed those things can help pull you out of the funk where you start to feel like, hey, I'm getting stuff done. I'm not just sitting around blob on my couch, uh, you know, and, and if it makes you feel better, you can even write, watch the rest of Shit's Creek on your list so you can cross it off and feel productive. But feeling, feeling that you've, you know, created or accomplished something can be extremely helpful. Um, another major key is moving your body. If you're feeling like you're in a funk, a lot of times that's because you're not having the same amount of physical activity that you normally do. And, or, or maybe, maybe you're not a super active person, but getting your ass outside and moving it or going for a jog or a bike ride or doing some weightlifting at home. Like I love strength training and I love to go to the gym and I've been doing very little strength training and even very little yoga and zero Pilates. So my whole physical activity routine is completely upside down right now. And I'm like, oh, no wonder I feel kind of like lazy, tired, uh, funky, you know, even like oh, I got some funky pain going on. We got to get our bodies moving. So grab those free weights and just do some freaking curls. And you might be shocked at how alive you feel just from that. Um, but changing your environment, that's another huge one. If you are not, uh, you know, say, say you're not supposed to, uh, you say you're on a stay at home order like I am, like all of us are. But you have an office. Now, maybe you don't, you're not going to see clients there right now, but you could go to the office. If you want, you can, right? So I went to my office. I cleaned, I wiped everything down, I did some paperwork, I thought about doing a YouTube video but didn't actually do it. But you know, I went to a different environment. I went to a location that isn't my bedroom or my home or my and I spent some time there in that different environment. That can be 
miraculous. I mean, maybe you feel comfortable going to a friend's house and having a socially distant lunch date where you sit, you know, I've seen people doing this. It's so cool. They're sitting outside, they're sitting on their porch and their friend is sitting out on the sidewalk and they're hanging out and having a lunch date or a dinner date, but they're doing it from a distance so that they can still, you know, be within the guidelines and protecting themselves. And that's, that's so smart, but getting out of your space and doing something, changing your environment, going somewhere, driving somewhere, you know, hopefully you can go hiking where you live. We're still kind of not supposed to hike around here, which sucks. But anyway, change your surroundings. Um, man, barbecue. There's so much people like grilling and I'm like, where's that smell? It smells so good. Okay. And last but not least, work on a creative project. I had a make this necklace idea in my brain and written out for months. And I had, I had this beautiful pendant and I wanted to make a necklace out of it. And I had it, you know, filed in the backlog of my brain in, in the uh, when you have time area. And I remember being like, why don't I make that necklace? I love that pendant and I want to wear that necklace. Where is it? I'm like, do I have it nearby? Can I show it to you? But doing a creative project, working on something, whether it's Watch my creative projects video to get ideas. But if you have ideas or things that you want to work on that are creative, artistic, you know, whether that's gardening, painting, drawing, designing something, you know, whatever is creative for you. For me, I love to do jewelry and beads and stuff, but I haven't really had much energy or motivation to do that. But I worked on this creative project and I felt so excited and accomplished. I think I even ended up making two different pieces of jewelry that day because once you get in the flow of a certain type of project like if you're going to paint something oh my gosh by the way I highly recommend painting rocks it is so fun and it's so simple and you just grab a rock and paint it maybe write a little sign on it make I love you you know have a good day keep your chin up you can write on it with a, a sharpie on top of the paint or you can paint on it very carefully which is much harder but doing something creative can be so exhilarating and energizing. So I hope this helps you get out of a funk. If you're in a funk right now, I feel for you and I understand I've been there many, many times. Don't worry, it's going to pass. There's things that you can do to help get yourself out of it and be 100% realistic. You do have to do something to get out of it. It doesn't just go away, unfortunately. I've tried this many times. I'm like, if I just sleep longer, I'll eventually wake up with energy. That's not how it works. You know, you got to do something to get yourself in a different state. And when you're in that new state, build on that little bits of momentum, momentum, momentum. And um, you're going to get out of it. Much love. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Please give it a like subscribe, share, all that good stuff and help me grow the channel. I appreciate you. Shout out to all my subscribers. I'm almost at a whopping 100 subscribers. Not bad for having a brand new channel. Anyway, take care of yourselves. I uh, love you. Have a good day.